Hello, it's Mr. Omari here. Lots of people love to keep scoring games. I remember the, this game maker is very much based on kind of old-fashioned arcade games in some way, where you try and get your name on the top score of a machine. Not that that's something I ever really did. So let's look at how you do that and what the mechanics are. So this is a very simple game that I'm playing with here, just so that you can see what I'm doing. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add an event at to an object on the screen. Um, which in this case is the cat, at game start. And the event we're going to add from the score tab is we're going to set the score to zero. So score is set to zero and that's not relative. So everybody starts out with a zero score. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have that score display on the screen. So we're adding another event and we're saying draw. And this is a weird event, draw. And what are we going to draw? We're going to draw the score and I'm going to put it 10 pixels out and 10 pixels down. Relative would mean that it sat relative to the object, but I want it sitting tidily up in the bit of the screen. So, it's going to start the game, you're going to have a zero score. You're probably wanting more than that. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to add some more events. Now you might add this for collisions, or getting to another room, or collecting something, or blowing something up. Um, entirely up to you. I'm doing this very simply for the video. So. If the user presses space, then I'm going to set the score, but this time it is relative. So it's basically plus one. Or you could make it minus one. You can have some things that took score off you. So plus one. And I'm going to have another event that if you press the, what did I just set, the space. Uh, let's hit the um, enter key. If you hit the enter key, then it will change you to give you two more points. That's just um, the cat smoky complaining there. Or you could have something happen that actually set the score back to a particular score. You know, it cleared out your score to zero. So it's, it's quite flexible. So here's all the things that it can do. Now, I'm just going to run it quickly so you can see how this works. So here we are in our game. So when I press enter, my score goes up. Space, my score goes up. And as you can see, it's keeping track. Obviously, you're going to have more interesting things happening to add and take away your score. Um, and you can take it down relative, so you can add 1 or minus 2, or you could take it all the way up to 100 or all the way down to 0. You've got quite a lot of power there. So, what I want to do, though, is I want bragging rights for my score. So I'm going to set a table, just just a cat there, um, to collect the high scores like an old-fashioned arcade game. So let's have a look at doing that. So, let's say that... At the key press for, I don't know, let's have the left button here. When the left button is pressed, it will show the high scores. And that gives me a few options I can change. Uh, and then I'm going to end the game. So let's just, uh, that's not it. Uh, that's not it. Remarkably hard to find it when I need it. Um, main two. There we go, end the game. So let's run this and see it in action. Okay, so here's our game, and I'm running up my score as we speak. Um, but I want to go on the top score list, so I'm going to press that to end the game. And there is the top 10 players. So I'm going to put in my name. Oh, and it's remembered me from last time, so I've got a better score than last time. Press Escape to close. I do. And now the game closes, because that's what I told it to do. So you might want to build a table like that into your game. It's quite fun to be able to collect some scores. Uh, it won't sync between people running the game on other computers. So if two separate friends are playing your game, they won't appear on each other's high score tables, but it is still a neat trick.